Райденавок. Welcome back to the Balance Out of Teletainments, the Good Morning in Niger show. Um, now we get two Kajad guests in the building. But before I introduce them, I would like to bring back the issue we've been having sometime last week uh, about the collapsed building for inside Itafaji for Lagos Island, for inside Obudo, Lagos here. Now, one reason why this particular collapsed building beans touch people for different kind places now because a lot of little, little children them been dying inside this particular building mishap. Nobody the first time we would see this kind of thing that happened for inside Lagos and inside Nigeria. But this one touched people because children been plenty inside. And people don't complain. Say that particular building, they don't mark them for demolition about three times before that particular time. Now this incident don't spark up, as we both call them, it don't spark up a lot of thoughts inside people's minds. Say, what think be the state and the condition of housing for inside Nigeria? Why people they live inside some kind of buildings, particularly using Lagos as a case study. Now to follow us discuss some of these things, um, we get two casual guests in the house. The first one to my uh, left here, now Mr. Deja King Pelu, he the founder of Rethinking Cities. And he also a filmmaker, uh, where we say that they do documentaries about cities, about, about housing in the city, I beg your pardon, and about how people they live, um, you know, and challenges of housing inside Rubudo, Lagos here. And then the next one, I want very casual guests. We don't follow us there in the studio before. Uh, in uh, the found, in uh, um, Mr. Fitzgerald Uma, um, him, now the chairman, Nigerian Institute of, Institute of Architects, Lagos chapter. Good morning, sirs, and welcome Good to our morning. studio. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Now, Mr. Good DJ Kimpel, we'll start with you first of all. Um, you've been just tell me right presently uh, behind the cameras about the documentary you want to do concerning housing. I would like to make you just shed small light on top of that one first before we come in. And the documentary we will do now, the one we in the online, the, we call them Kelechi's Quest, mm. uh, where we x ray one young man, where they go around Lagos, they look for a house, and then uh, all the challenges we meet along the line. You understand? Say, okay, maybe you won't go get government house. So say, how we could take Duan. Or maybe, ah, now to go lower, lower, lower. Maybe, say, maybe one kind of slum area. Maybe if you get somewhere, making stay. But as you reach there, you see the conditions. Say, ah, you know, go fit, uh, uh, manage that kind of situation. Or you to explore, say, okay, ah, if I want rent house for Lagos, say, how much? Uh, I fit where I feel get affordable place where uh, I fit rent, you know. So, so today we take and go more uh, way side outside Lagos. Say ah, how we feel be for that side, you know. As ours they cheap, everything they cheap there. But to access Lagos from there, the wild away there. So now the tour we day for that um, documentary be that with all the other issues we do about housing for this Lagos every day. Now, as Nabine shoot that particular documentary, mm -hmm. um, what would be the things where, where you can't notice, apart from, say, okay, um, housing fee cost for some mm -hmm. places, mm -hmm. and then the ones where they're affordable, no day, mm -hmm. uh, you know, good for I, you know, mm -hmm. good person fee stay inside. Mm -hmm. What would be some other things we would not notice where they're very peculiar to people where they live for inside Lagos? And the other things where they also, the now, the, the wala we did for the poor people, we did base, base, last, last, uh, we, we feel say the day for slum area. And the wala we gov uh, uh, first eviction day. Say, government, they chase them with guns sometimes, come on, then chase them, come on for where they, they live. Uh, we, you know, say Lagos get shoreline, now it's a water, water area, and all these people where they live for this water, water area. So their own problem, they deep. Somehow, we be say uh, when you look the matter, the team fit, they break person heart, and uh, so not serious problem. But also solution day, sure. As as we do all the work, all the things we don't talk to solution uh, possibility day for. Right. Before we come to solution, I would like to talk with Mr. Uma now. Um, first of all, in fact, Mr. Uma, the, the, the interesting thing about having you back here now, we say the last time when you come here, you've been talking about um, the state of buildings for inside Lagos and the kind of materials when I don't find out, say some people they use take build their, uh, their their constructions. And you talk about you've been talking about quacks as well for the industry when it comes to architecture. Sadly, um, sadly, a lot of things where you be talk about now, waiting that they talk about now concerning this building, we don't collapse. Um, she and I say nobody they listen. I be the, the conversations we wanna be that they get as architects, as professional architects, know they reach the right um, body for inside Lagos. Nadia, I want to start from first. Thank you. 
for this matter we consign make house they collapse and all that the last time we will come we'll talk about waiting we will be professional architects don't do i mentioned i'm here say for 2017 when we do our program lagos architects forum for eco hotel say you get one document we will call professional intervention program we will do give government say this document we will give now Naing will help owner approve building. We will help owner no say any building where they want build for this our Obodo Lagos. Una go no say architect day, structural engineer day, electrical day, mechanical day, all the professionals we day. Una go day sure say na them day. Because at the end, what would the talk be say? Make every building we want day for this where they want be for this Lagos. Make the professionals, make them take ownership. So that if anything happen, una go know who una go go catch. Whether the professionals we design them, I've been at the man we be contractor with them tell see make him build the house. Now he no build that well. So now the matter where the ground be that. So until our government begin to do waiting we, we be saying now waiting then teach us for school, waiting we go learn. You know go tell accountants make you can't do architect work. You know they work. You go get some, some of these buildings where they are around. People where they build them and where they do them, they don't be professionals for the, in, for the building industry. Now, wait till we don't they talk with that. See the building will collapse. Then say, government don't mark them. They mark them since 2010. Why they no break the building? You get some other building where they don't mark like that, where they still never break. So not until where our government go begin to enforce the law where they ground, because not be law be our problem. The law, they ground. Now make government, that will power say, we go begin to follow what you will talk. If somebody do something, we no good. May they catch up. Till today. Now so. Okay, now I go still ask you, Mr. Woman. Now, um, the, <coughs> excuse me, the Nigerian Institute of Architects. Say, when I get now for, for Lagos here, um, when different builds, I know this one we had, most likely this one supposed to be the, the, the job of the, um, you know, the enforcement agencies, you know, to go around, see when buildings they spring up, when did they build or did they construct different kind um, buildings to make sure, say, the person where they in charge, say, na professional, no be quack. But if una, they get any way, una fit discover some of these places where we say, um, you know, people they, people, they do these things, they, they, they build, and they know, say, and I know, say, these people don't be professionals. Or una fit see, now this saying, as a personal thing, I know people official as, uh, as a body, say individual, as members of this um, organization when I get. You see a particular building that they construct, and from your own touch mind, for your eye, your professional eye, you see say, something they wrong with this building. They get any channel when I feed, report these particular things to the government, or you as an individual, you feed actually go there in, in the capacity of, um, you know, of the Nigerian Institute of Architects. If you go there, if you complain, say, this thing, oh, this one, a time bomb will just depend before it collapse. Any channel do we specifically report to the government from that, from your own institute, first of all? We get our own channel. You know, we will be Nigerian Institute of Architects. Now we be the association of yes. all the architects. Now we the promote architecture and everything will be professional. We can't get another body where they call ACON, mm -hmm. Architects Registration Council. Now that one be the, um, be the organization we get it mm -hmm. with the feedback. You know, say we. We no go feel but our own to blow. We should say we could not see you. But how can nine governments give the power to enforce anything we no good? So now this our body will be Akon. But if you enter building, say this thing what they do, no good. You then then get the power, carry police, go arrest somebody. It don't happen well well. We will say if they feel enter any building. If then ask you who be the architect today for this, who they supervise this building. And you know if you produce your license, because get something they call practice license. Mm -hmm. If you know get them, then fit arrest you for that. But then again, say we don't you got plenty of times where we don't report. You get sometimes we say the head of physical planning for Lagos one three or four years ago. The man gave us something that they call hotline. We be say if anything happened, me could just say. Me, I don't send, give them. But the thing we say sometimes when you send. Government also no get enough people. We go feel go around entire Lagos. If you be said then go day yaba they walk. Another thing don't happen again for Lagos Island. But government too, 
they try. They will also tell you, say, they don't get the money, they don't get the capacity. Even our roads, we need to also they help them. So we get channel where they take complaint. But again, when you complain, tell the appropriate authority. Sometimes nothing they happen. If they bad, say, our own work, you go go online. Somebody go tell you, say, in the salam. Our own work, they sell them online. We don't catch people like that. We will go complain to government. What thing happen? You know how our country be. So not until government say face one particular thing, say this thing, you know, we go, we day ready to fight and to make sure say anybody will catch. Now what thing we go do and edit. We no go feel go anywhere. All right, Mr. Tinkle, before I come to you on the solutions we've been talking about, one last question, uh, Mr. Fitzgerald. Now I remember say the last time when I've been get this forum for inside Eco Hotel, me I've been there. Yeah. And on the last day, or the, the day before the last, I would have been get one sit down discuss with artisans with the inside of Budo, Nigeria. With them too, then they build. We get artisans, we'll be builders, we'll be bricklayers. Because no be everybody, first of all, we agree, say, sometimes to hire professional um, expertise, they're expensive. Everybody won't become landlord, nobody everybody go fear afford some of these things. And we know if we come out our eye from the fact, say, we get artisans. They get people who say, they won't build house, they'll go carry bricklayer. They don't go carry professional builders. They get people who say they won't, uh, they won't see the design. They don't go carry professional architect. They'll carry somebody who just fit draw plan, you know. And because of that, when I talk to you, when I can't get sit down and discuss with these particular artisans. Now, what will be the kind of relationship where Una will be professional body get with these artisans? And how this relationship done the flourish? Has it been positive? Has it been negative? What kind of challenges will I get with them? Because largely, a lot of people, they patronize them. We know if we deny that fact. This for the meeting where they get with these artisans, mm -hmm. um, would they try to tell them? Say, we know, say, no, everybody get money to hire big mm -hmm. professionals. What thing would they tell them? They say, if them hire you, make you come mode block, make you come later, do all those things. Say, it gets how you go take drum, make you do and well. No, be say, somebody give you money, you collect the money, put them for pocket, you do the work anyhow. Because the, the problem, no, be say, you hire somebody. Now, also say, how the person take carry out the work. You hire the man. You tell him to make him use 12 mm rod. The man look, you look, you look, you know they. You just go carry 11, I go buy 10 mm plain rod, shocking him. Before you, we, the, we get the house, come back. You don't do the thing. Carry sand, sand with uh, um, concrete and cement, cover him. So we they tell them, say, them too, we they do the work. See, they need to be responsible. They need to also assume, say, that house, their mama, their papa, also feed day inside that house if anything will happen. Thank you so much, Mr. Fitzgerald. I will still come back to you before we wrap up the interview. But then, um, Mr. King Peluna, you don't really tell us about, say, as soon as I go around for this uh, document you want to do, this thing don't, you know, broaden your knowledge, increase your scope, and you also been done, say, solutions also day uh, for some of these particular issues, these social issues concerning house we want to see. We would like to make you enlighten us on some of this. Mm, I, I like the question where you raise about uh, the artisans, mm -hmm. where they this the industry, and the matter with the ground. We say how we want to handle the informal sector, including the people will be professionals for that sector, and the people will they build house for that sector. So if you go check the economic uh, class of the people where they are affected by this. You can say, oh, they're in the lower strata of the society. Say how we want to take and do um, areas where we say the bread and build, the building done, weak. You know, the, that place is a historical place. In Andes, also, you get Brazilian quarters and all of that. Solution around, say, okay, a regeneration of the, of the location, waiting be government plan about upgrade of these areas. Now they don't announce. Oh, you say go and say government agency say they don't get enough people. They don't get. No, no, I, I believe say government if you work, if government won't work, as this thing happen now, they say they want demolish eighty houses. They don't do work since all these days. So they, suddenly now government they work. They are all got day there. They show up for television. Say we they pull down, they pull down. Now because we they, we don't tell ourselves like say government no fee. Now one of the big lie with the Africa be that say government no fee do anything. We go work. So. Okay, now they don't say 80 hours, they say they go pull and down. Pull and down, now end of discussion. Waiting go happen after Una don't pull this thing down. Now, this informal sector, the workers, the poor people where they look for a house, what waiting be the plan? Now, because say plan no day, that is why things they fail. 
Because poor man no see where he go squat, where he go live. That's why some people go, they do illegal. No be excuse at all, at all. You understand? But it is the, the thing where they happen, a manifestation of some level of poverty. The reality of what they have done is, say, they call all these people. Say, okay, ah, now like this, now go do now work. Say, we feel do skill upgrade for these people. Now, these same artisans, they build with uh, some other foreign uh, contractors on, on our sites, where they teach them. Understand? So how, how we want to take, how we can be the plan for regeneration. We need to begin to look at regeneration plan. Say this area did like this, this area did like this, how we feel upgrade them. You get some guys where go all this agege area and co. You go see building where they don't weak. You go see one baba where just they live inside house. They walk up to the people, they go tell them, they go tell them, say, okay, this is your house, we want to rebuild that. Baba, we go give you one room. Build additional rooms. We go take them for the next ten years. Um, after ten years, you could collect the, the main, dilapidated buildings. But waiting government, waiting government, they do support that kind of regeneration plan, just for you to go work for that kind of area. Right. Say we want help somebody rebuilding bungalow. You understand? To pull it down, you go pay government agency big money. For that to happen. So regeneration, waiting with the plan for regeneration. Regeneration, where will they call for? No be regeneration, say you won't regenerate now, we won't go build another banana island though, mm -hmm. or we won't go build another eco-Atlantic. Regeneration, we go accommodate common man. Say those 80 houses where they won't pull down now, say they won't build another, you know all those estates where they lucky now. How many people they inside? See the contrast where they happen. You go lucky, they build estates, no occupants. You go shita, they build houses, we know People, boku, house fall down. How we go balance? Now the balance we they ask for now. Very interesting. Um, Mr. Uma, I still want to come back to you now. Now, <clears throat> as I said, Mr. Kikwelu don't talk already. We know, say, we get issue, we get housing issue, largely. And um, I like the fact that you mentioned Lekki because if you come down this axis from VI, Ikoi, down to Lekki towards Aja, uh, be like, and even after Aja, it'd be like, say, now, uh, uh, real estate now the new gold mine. Now, waiting they thrive for those areas. But sadly, as you mentioned, people know they're inside to live. Um, what do you feel, say, we feel do, you know, looking at the future now, when it comes to housing in Nigeria and accommodation, a lot of people, when we say them need the houses, they don't get them. I and mean, we, we talk about low-income earners now. Um, they get something to one of my colleagues been the talk when he go to Dubai, come back. He say, you notice, say, as we got on like Nigeria here, where we say we go build house on three acres of land. For there, they figure two plots, but they go build buildings will go up. Where we say, you get 30 apartments inside, just on two plots of land. You don't accommodate 30 families. Whereas here, we will get, if we get, uh, you know, five plots of land, we just one family take, and there's space plenty inside. Is it a problem of mentality? I mean, I say, you know, we do not just Sabi say we feel do things that kind of way. Now, one question we want to ask, and then the other one we say moving forward. Sadly, uh, Lagos only very very tight. So say we won't begin to plan Lagos is almost impossible. But what will be the way forward now? What we feel do concerning these particular issues? Okay, thank you. Um, first, what did Mr. King talk? Mm -hmm. In long mention regeneration plenty. It mm -hmm. can't be like say our mind don't mean because. The program we will get for Eco Hotel mm. for me, the title of that uh, program now, Architectural Regeneration 2. You know, say we mentioned them since I become chairman for Lagos State before. Now, big, big things we they do go go Eco Atlantic City, go go. So, when me I become chairman, I say, No, say poor people plenty where they live for Jarrah Badia, they live for Makoko, they live for Bariga. Say, make we calm down, look how we go take help these people in terms of planning. So most of the things we would do now, like that regeneration way you mentioned, it in terms of economy, it in terms of social culture, it in terms of governance, it in terms of environment. Because where this people they live, government more talk how they go take help them. They go talk how they go take incorporate their own culture into where they, they live. Nobody to go carry something for Obodo Yibo, carry give them. Man, we need one room. You carry three bedroom flat, give them. Now problem, now you give them soon. Now going back to the question where you asked, in terms of this housing, nothing, if government talks to the no feed one, not lie. Government feed one. 
for London, where all these big men they go. They go they call council flats. Those council flats now, they look you, you no get husband, you get children. Government will call you, give you house. So you know say house matter don't come out. So not until we government say now waiting they won't do be this pertaining to this housing, we no go move forward. I will also give you another example. Most of these houses where government they build two two bedroom, three three bedroom, not be the right people they get the house. So. so now part of the solution to this problem we will get. If you check Lagos State, go this lucky by that third roundabout, you go see some three three bedroom where they build. If you go a little sure, then get. The problem be now rich people they still collect this house. Where they no go live, then go come carry them again, come rent give people. These houses now houses where we say government they build for middle income and people will no get money. So the rich people and some of these people go still come, collect them, they rent them, give back to these people. So government need to really decide. Come back, like what Mr. K for talk, maybe now one bedroom. Two, two bedroom, go some areas because these people where they live for Makoko, where they live for this Jara, they know they ask for too much. Oh. Now just give me small house. The road where I want to go, my house, it they good. Water, they know even mind. Maybe they fetch water from in front of their house. But the problem is say their house they the kind of canal with in front of their house, they go waka. Come on. So these things government fits to them. Now the will power make government decide, say. Now, what thing they want to do? And you get a, lot, a couple of private sector people will say, then to one joint body with government to do this thing. But the thing we say, for them to even meet the right people for government, the bureaucracy too plenty. You go see man we carry home money, you go say, government, I won't do this road. Somebody go tell you, say, no, before you do it, you need to come collect approval. Me, I won't help government with my own money. To get that approval, my brother, you know how it be. On a way they inside the uh, private sector. So the thing is the government must make that, that effort. Say, now waiting they won't do be this. This building collapse, we also talk about. You get committee where government set out 2013. Where they don't write reports. Reports, 56 page reports, give them. I also know the government don't form another committee to look into this Itafaji house. Committee work plenty. The resolution with them gather together. Give now, what you wanna do? Housing, habitat, you get 2000 and then do habitat committee, we then do work. Then package, do everything, give government say, now the way forward for housing solution for Lagos be this. Those documents plenty. Now governments need the when I mean willpower, say okay, oh, all these documents we oh, don't get white paper, black paper, blue paper, blueprints. Say we won't begin the phase up. They don't do you could um equip master plan. They don't do you could do master plan where they don't link together. They don't do plenty master plan. Make us start implementation now. My brother. So Our time don't really go. Before we let you go, uh, Mr. Kikwelu, uh, just to pull back, I know so you're a founder of Rethinking Cities. I would like to make you tell us what in, re what in, be, what in be Rethinking Cities they do and which plans you get, which latest plan I get on, on ground presently. Uh, the thing where we they do for Rethinking Cities, we say we just be uh, uh, a coalition or a group of uh, professionals where they are across arts, uh, um, plan planning, architects, where we just they gather and they think like think tank, they work with researchers, say, okay, what can be the solution to problems of urbanization in a city like Lagos? So as they give us solution, we just they create platform. We be say, we they push the ideas out. As you give us platform now, we, we can't talk, you know? Uh, as we they move into the new dispensation, we be say, uh, uh, we they move into the new dispensation, we, we go swear in new government now. We don't they follow our politicians before now during elections say, ah, waiting for our plan. And uh, our governor-elect, in, in talk during the governorship debate, say he won't review the process of land ownership for Lagos. Maybe all these documents where my guy here don't talk. Say all those paper, maybe he won't uh, fast track them now. Say, make it day easy for people to be able to get. He specifically mentioned Badia. We don't get them for record. So our own job, say we won't try create platform. We say we won't make our uh, politicians become accountable 
So when they run advocacy, they won't meet with the new legislators when they, when they come into the house. Say how we fit speed up all these processes, reduce uh, all the bureaucracy we day for our system. They don't promise now, they don't, they don't vote, they don't enter. I won't be saying we won't track and they check government, engage government more and make them accountable. If they're not delayed, they don't talk and we get them for record, they won't make them, they're accountable, the thing we them promise us. Right, very good. And Mr. Mr. Fitzgerald, before you go, um, you don't already give out small uh, expo as they talk for exam that time. But say blessing a forum that may go happen this year. Mm -hmm. And so what would they expect from the forum from May this year? And who who feel benefit from it? Um, uh, the program will come from May 8th to 11th. Mm -hmm. And uh, we they continue the series like now, it'll be like um, series for us. Mm -hmm. The first one now, to poise is what we do for 2017. Last year, in architectural registry generation one. This one now two. Because for this time, not until government begin to do what we tell them, that regeneration will go. Because Lagos don't reach where new places are supposed to come out. Now, the people who will benefit now, the general public, may they can't know the kind of things where they need to do to support people they live for these bad uh, areas we know good. The way we then do for Sanfield. Ijarabadia, we would carry people go this area, make them see, even engage international community, make them see how they go feel help us. So for this year, we get people where they come from Austria, we get people they come from UK, where they come from US. We will come also tell us the kind of solution we will feel get. And we get Nigerians with plenty, where they bring Armstrong Yakubu, na na one Kajad architect to where they work for foster partnership. We get even um, photographers where they come. Femi Olai, yeah, we'll be say them, nine into architectural photography, nine then they. We get Stephanie, one uh, Austrian architect where they come. We get uh, Damiola Ele. We get plenty of people who we want to come engage government and the general public. We could tell them how they will fit, take, build well. Tell government, give them roadmap, how they will fit, take, deal with this Makoko issue and all these other areas. Now, waiting will they concentrate on with that? Because you know, go get where big, big men, they live. And where poor people, they live. Poor people will be saying, and then they service these big men. Their own road no go good. They no get house. Person will be saying, they work for you. If you no feel sleep well, you no go feel think well. You no go even feel drive you well. So we won't see how we go take engage government, engage the private sector. Me, they really can't help. This, um, these are our people. So now for a co hotel, the thing with the Zinia Hall and Jasmine Hall for three days. And the, th the last day will be 11th. We go do normal eco uh, Lagos store. We will carry all our visitors who come from Obodo Yibo and some of our Nigerians. We could go different areas like um, Lekki Conservation Garden, Makoko, Ijarabadia. We could collect, continue the series, Isheri, all, of, all this area till we get a proper uh, solution. Thank you so much. I feel like keeping that inside because uh, the conversation they speak me for Beleno be lie. Uh, we don't talk to uh, Mr. DJ King Pelu. He's the founder of Rethinking Cities and he also a filmmaker inside the Obodo Nigeria here. And of course, uh, we did talk to uh, Mr. Fitzgerald Uma. I am the chairman of Nigerian Institute of Architects. Uh, Lagos chapter in Dundee here in the studio with us before. And we don't talk about housing, uh, planning cities to avoid disaster using this particular one we have for Itafaji as case study to take this course this particular one. Thank you very much again for joining us in the studio. Thank you. To enjoy more of this our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.